Hello everyone. Welcome to our channel Mathematics Parshala. This is a problem of CSIR NET December 2023 Mathematical Sciences. This is a question from complex analysis. First we did the question. For every n greater than or equal to 1, consider the entire functions p and z equal to defined by this. Which of the following statements are true? Option 1 says that the sequence of functions p n converts to an entire function uniformly on compact subset of C. Option 2 says that for all n greater than or equal to 1, Pn has a 0 in the set this. Option 3 says that there exists an uh, sequence Zn of complex numbers such that limit mod Zn equal to infinity and Pn Zn equal to 0 for all n greater than or equal to 1. Option 4 says that let Sn denote the set of all zeros of Pn. If An equal to this, then An tends to infinity as An tends to infinity. So, first look at option 1. Clearly, this sequence of function uh, converts pointwise to e to the power z. This is very clear because if we take as limit An tends to infinity Pn z, then this will be e to the power z. That is uh, 1 plus z by 1 factorial plus z square by 2 factorial plus dot dot. So, if we take any complex set K. Now, clearly, if we uh, suppose f k z equal to this z to the power k by k factorial. Now, if we consider this series of function f k z k equal to 0 to up to infinity. So, this is actually now here this pnz is actually nth partial the sequence of nth partial sums of this series of function. So if we can prove that this series of function is uniformly convergent on k then it will be proved that this sequence of functions will be uniformly convergent on k. Now this is very clear that this mod fkz uh, equal to uh, say this compact set as this is compact set k so k is closed and bounded so we can uh, suppose that uh, we can suppose that this k is contained in such bounded set z such that mod z less than equal to some m positive number m so this mod z to the power k by k factorial and this will be less than equal to m to the power k by k factorial. Now clearly this <coughs> sum mod f k z will be less than equal to this m to the power k by k factorial summation k equal to 0 to up to infinity and this will be e to the power m. So now this using uh, Oistrust M test using Oistrust M test it can be easily shown that this sequence this series of function fkz summation k equal to 0 to up to infinity is uniformly convergent and hence our summation k equal to 1 to up to infinity fkz that means our sequence of functions p and z n greater than equal to 1 so this is uniformly convergent on any compact subsets of c so this option 1 is true easily this is clear Just using Oyster stem test, option 1 can be proved. Now look at option 2. <coughs> Pn has a 0 in the set this. So, not this, uh, actually this 2023 has no meaning. We can prove that actually if we take any, uh, any number say n dash, we can show that, we can show that this z such that z such that mod z less than equal less than equal to n dash this set 
so no need to take a particular number 2023 if we take an arbitrary uh, natural number in dash we can show that this set uh, this set for this set we can show that this uh, pn uh, such n exists such that pn has no zero in this set so we can show that there exists for this n dash there exists some n belongs to n such that this pn has no zero in this set that means all the zeros of pn will be outside of this uh, set so first we prove this result now <coughs> see we consider k equal to this set z such that mod z less than equal to n dash we have taken an arbitrary natural number n dash and consider fj equal to e to the power z now clearly fj is analytic in this interval actually fj is entire function so by minimum modulus theorem mod f attains its minimum in the uh, boundary of k that is delta k so suppose this minimum is minimum mod fj uh, clearly fj clearly fj has no zero in this actually uh, the minimum modulus theorem states that if f has no zero in uh, inside k then the uh, minimum of mod f attains at the boundary of this k so as f is f does not have a zero in k now this minimum mod f z z belongs to a uh, k is actually attains for some uh, for some z dash belongs to delta k this so let us assume this equal to small l now we have this sequence of function pn uniformly converts to the function e to the power z in this compact set k so that means for any epsilon greater than 0 there exist a natural number n0 belongs to n such that we have this pnz minus e to the power z mod of this less than epsilon for all z belongs to this k and for all n greater than equal to n0 now so in particular for n equal to n0 we have this so uh, so first we take here epsilon equal to this this l we have l so take epsilon equal to l by 2 this is a positive number so now for this epsilon we have n0 such that this happens so now for in particular n equal to n0 we have this pn pn0 z minus e to the power z mod of this less than epsilon for all z belongs to k oh so now here we are proving that we are proving that for this n dash there exist n such that pn uh, pn does not have any root in this here so for this actually we uh, prove this result by using contradiction so if possible suppose if possible suppose if possible suppose that for any n belongs to n pn has a root or zero in this set k so we have assumed this first so now for this n0 we have and also by our this hypothesis p n0 this hypothesis p n0 has a 0 so this p n0 has a 0 say z0 in this set a that is that is we have 
P n zero j zero equal to zero. Now putting this here, we have putting this, we have zero minus this e to the power j zero mod of this less than epsilon. So here this mod of this e to the power j zero. This is actually here greater than equal to l because l is the minimum value of such uh, mod of this mod of e to the power z where z belongs to this k so also here this l is actually greater than uh, l equal to 2 epsilon actually so this is greater than epsilon which is a contradiction because we have this 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 should be less than epsilon was but, but here there are some there exists some z that is z zero such that this p n uh, p n zero z minus p n zero z zero minus e to the power z zero is greater than epsilon. So this cannot happen. So why this contradiction came? Because we have suppose uh, that for every n p n has a zero in k. So this cannot happen. So we must have. So we must have. So we must have for any n dash belongs to n. So now here if we take n dash equal to 2023, we get the result of 2, which is not true. So we have proved that for any n dash belongs to n, there exist n belongs to n such that such that pn has no 0 in this z such that mod z less than equal to n dash. So that means option 2 is not true because if we take here n dash equal to 2023, we have this 2 is 2 you know, it will not be true. So this 2 is not true in general. Now look at option 3 and option 4. See clearly as this option 2 is not true, that means for any such natural number, we have uh, uh, n such that pn has no root in this interval, uh, sorry, uh, in this domain. So that means, that means actually, so, So that means for such n, for such n, such pn has no zero in this. So if z is a root of pn, if z is a root of pn, then this z will lie outside this set. Z such that mod z less than equal to n dash, n, n dash. So we must have this mod z will be greater than n dash. So that means uh, there exists a sequence. So for each such n dash, there exists a n such that for this n, we have a element z such that this mod z greater than n dash. So, so that means if we take any n belongs to n corresponding to this n, we have a complex number z, a complex number zn such that this mod z, mod zn will be greater than n. That means this mod zn must tend to infinity as n tends to infinity where this zn are roots of this pn, pnz equal to 0. So, Clearly here, this option 3, look at option 3. So this option 3 will be the correct option. As option 2 is not correct, so option 3 must be correct. And also look at option 4. Let Sn denote the set of all zeros of Pn. So clearly, for such n, all the zeros of Pn 
will be uh, outside of this domain so if we take a minimum of this then that minimum also tends to infinity clearly so option 4 will be also the correct option so here option 2 is not the correct option and 1 3 4 are the correct options this is the solution of this problem thanks for watching